All right, yo, what is happening, everyone? It is your boy, Ilo, and welcome back to a new video. Today, I will be showing you how to make some Roblox renders for any GFX purposes, whether that be for YouTube thumbnails, YouTube profile pictures, client work, or even just personal use. The reason I am making this video is because my last two videos on this topic helped a lot of you out, so this time I'm gonna do a third video just to keep helping out all the new people. So without any further ado, let's go straight into the tutorial. So the first thing you wanna do is open up your Roblox studio. As I mentioned in the previous videos this is where all the magic happens you want to make sure you have the moon animator plugin this is what it looks like right over here it's called moon animator 2 it is by x6x basically once you are in roblox studio you want to click the character inserter when you click it this is what will pop up you want to get your player name or id and if you are not sure your player id is these numbers right in between the users and profile in your link for this tutorial i'm going to be doing a render of my friend cronulus once you have the id in, it's going to show the player you are rendering on the side and then you're gonna have three options old r15 r15 or r6 you do not want to click r6 and it doesn't matter whether you click old r15 or r15 for this tutorial i am going to click r15 and insert that one once the character inserts you can just close off this and then once you have the character selected you want to click the moon animator so once you have this here you want to click file and you want to click new animation next you want to name it so i'm just going to name it video tutorial and then once you confirm that you want to click plus and once you click plus it's going to say add item this is where you want to click the character that you want to render make sure that the rig is checked and then you want to click ok once you do that all of this will pop up now this is where you can start editing your character as you can see you can click all of the body parts and you can move them however you want so right now i'm going to show you guys a speed run of me doing this and you're going to see what type of position i'm going to put the character in As you can see, I did a very simple pose. Usually this works better with blockier avatars, but I'm doing it with this package because I want to show you guys that you can really do it with any avatar. But once you get a pose that you like, basically what you want to do is you want to click on the character and then you want to go to the home tab right here and you want to click anchor. So now once I close the moon animator, I think it should save. And as you can see, it did. Now, once your character is done, as you can see on the side right here is their name. You want to right click their name. You want to go down to where it says export selection. And then once you do that, you just want to save it into a file okay so now you want to open a blender so what i do is i use an older version of blender i find it way easier and also which is better for me you want to go to the download page of blender you want to go to previous versions and then you want to click where it says download every version of blender once you click that it'll take you to this very weird page with a lot of numbers you want to scroll down and you want to click blender 2.78 and then once you click that you just want to download it for your windows so if you have windows 64 you just want to click the link right here keep in mind i will leave a link to all these things in the description so you don't need to do all these steps you can just go straight to the download but once that blender version is open you're gonna see this cube you want to click delete on your keyboard and you want to just click delete now as you can see this is all blank you want to go to file then once you go to file you want to click import and under import you want to do a wavefront obj as you can see when i save the roblox character to the file it has an mtl and an obj file you want to double click the obj file and as you can see you won't actually see anything but when you scroll out you will see your character mine's all the way over here for some reason so as you can see i'm just gonna bring the character to the center i'm pretty sure that's good enough so i'm gonna zoom in and as you can see it is right over here to move around all you want to do is click your middle mouse button so basically the scroll wheel and you could just move around like that so now you're probably wondering why my character is all white so just to fix this you want to go to revolution oh my gosh so to fix this you want to go to the side and where it says resolution you actually want to make this 4k so to make it 4k you want to write 2560 by 1440 then you want to make this 50 percent into a hundred percent then you want to go down into shading and where it says alpha you want to do transparent then you want to click this little globe here you want to turn on ambient occlusion environmental lighting and indirect lighting usually my environmental lighting i want to turn that all the way down to 700 and then once you are done all that you want to click this little plus in the top right it'll open up this menu right here and this is literally all you need to do you just want to go down click textured solid as you can see all of my texture is now there and you want to click ambient occlusion this will just make it look better now you're basically done all you want to do is click this camera right over here with your right click so basically once you right click it it'll highlight it now there's two ways to get into the camera you can click zero on the number pad on your keyboard or you want to click view go into cameras and click active camera so now to move around in the camera all you want to do is click shift plus f on your keyboard and as you can see you can now control where your render is gonna be so i actually want to render this at an angle so i like this right here i'm gonna just click down on my mouse and once you do that 
that literally all you want to do is go right here where it says render click render and as you can see it's going to render out and it's going to be done now once it is done all you want to do is go where it says image right over here click save as image and then you want to just save it to your file and yeah guys that is basically it hopefully you did enjoy this tutorial if this helped you in any way make sure to leave a like on this video and hopefully you can subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all my videos and as i said before this rendering does work better with blocky avatars so as you can see these are my renders of my avatar and here's some more blocky renders as you can see they look better this is similar to the one we just did as you can see it's not a blocky avatar but it still looks good i have some client work here and here's another one that isn't blocky but it still looks good but yeah guys have a great day make sure to share this video to some of your friends that need help with the renders and i'll see you guys very very soon peace out everyone